How Long or How Wide? A Measuring Guide by Brian P. Cleary, illustrated by Brian Gable. A table, a teacher, a building or creature, a stuffed teddy bear that you've treasured. What size are they all? The big and the small? Each one of these things can be measured. Length answers the riddle for large things or little. How long or how tall or how wide is that swing? Or your ring? Or a dinosaur wing? Or the ladder that leads to the slide? One inch looks like this and it's easy to miss because of its very small size. But it shows us its might when it helps tell the height of the trees that reach up to the skies. Twelve inches together make one foot, so whether you measure a desk or a door, each twelve inch long line is a definite sign that you've measured another foot more. And see this? It's cool. Inches live on this tool. It's a measuring stick called a ruler. A 12 inch collection, one foot of perfection, the right size for every grade schooler. Now, three of these feet, should they line up and meet, together are what's called one yard. That's 36 inches, and here's what the cinch is. That's also three feet. It's not hard. If you measured your bed and the yardstick had said that your headboard's exactly three feet, you could say that the height is one yard and you're right, or 36 inches. How neat. It's really quite wise when you're measuring size to know more than only one system. The terms here are fun and before we are done, you'll surely be able to list them. It's nearly as thin as a needle or pin. One inch holds almost 26 millimeters. Put your face really near. That's the whole thing right there. It's smaller than most fleas and ticks. Centimeter. Take your fingers and pinch less than half of one inch. A dime would quite easily hide one. As small as it is, when you're asked on a quiz, there are 10 millimeters inside one. Decimeter. A bit less than four inches, really no more. There are 10 centimeters tucked in it. 100 would be the amount you would see of all millimeters within it. Just how tall is Peter? He's all of one meter. It's a little bit more than one yard. Or you could say Peter's just 10 decimeters and watch as your paper is starred. So how can you tell just how tall is that bell? How wide is your thermos or cooler? Now it's a pleasure because you can measure, which makes you the ultimate ruler. So what is length? Do you know?